And as part of Detroit's week long celebration for Juneteenth, a group of teenagers and a local artist have been painting this mural right there on Woodward Avenue in between Larned and Congress. And it came out amazing. The Power to the People art installation will be revealed uh, today. It's going to be during the Juneteenth celebration in Spirit Plaza, which is along Woodward Avenue, south of the Campus Marshes Park between Congress and Larned. The city of Detroit agreed to allow the mural and the teens along with local artist Hubert Massey known nationally while they spent this week painting it and it came out perfect. The teens who came up with the idea for the mural feel proud to be part of making something so powerful. Many people will be celebrating Juneteenth this year. Yeah, so this morning we're giving you a little bit of history about the holiday in case you've never heard of it before. Juneteenth celebrates the date in 1865 when a Union Army general delivered the news about the Emancipation Proclamation to black slaves in Texas who did not know they were already free. Now, this was about two and a half years after the Emancip Emancipation Proclamation actually abolished slavery in 1863. At the time, Texas was the state farthest to the west and enforcement of that proclamation had been very slow to get there. While Juneteenth is not recognized as a federal holiday, it is recognized as a state holiday in 46 different states. Here in Michigan, former Governor Jennifer Granholm named Juneteenth a state holiday back in 2005.